Well, hello everyone. Today I'm sharing 10 things that are a total waste of money. Yes, these are things I just wish I didn't buy and maybe I'll save you from buying them as well. Am I gonna be talking about the famous restoration hardware cloud couch? <laughs> yes, I am and I have some thoughts. It might be a little bit different than what you expect, but we shall see. But the first thing that I wanna talk about and just get out of the way is the darn essential oil diffusers. Guys, I have so many of them, so many. Some of them were so expensive and I'm just here to say, all of them are terrible except for one. I, this one is from Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. It's the reservoir is huge. I've recommended it before. Um, and the reservoir is huge. You like fill it up one time. It lasts the entire day. It's so much better than, I'm sorry, like Young Living, uh, du Duterra. Like I love their essential oils. Like I will buy them. I think they're great. They're potent, but their diffusers are so expensive. They're basically just plastic and totally not worth it. So I wasted a lot of money on those and I should have just jumped right to this $30 one. So obviously this is a video showcasing products you should not buy, but if there is anything that I really recommend, I will have it linked down below like that diffuser. But like I said, for the most part, these are things you should not buy. So next up we have female razors. So yes, and, and I will say I don't shave as much as I used to because I do use that Kenzie hair removal thing, um, but I do have a lot of experience with shaving and I have dived down deep into so many different brands and different products and the Flamingo, I mean, that's advertised everywhere. I've tried that. Billy, oh my goodness. I feel like I can't even say anything bad about the Billy razors because there's such a cult following there, but no, all of it is not nearly as good as just the good old Gillette men's razor. This is the, the what is it called? The Fusion, it has five blades. They are so sharp. The price is amazing. Like there's no icky like goop that's like kind of surrounding the blades, which some people say that helps with razor burn. Um, for me, I didn't notice a huge difference with that, but it just really got my shower messy. It made me, it kind of like made me subscribe to constantly getting a new razor. This is just so incredibly sharp. It actually works really well, lasts forever. You can't beat the price. Just buy the men's razors, okay? Who cares about if it's pretty and pink and pastel? Number three, fake AirPods. Yes, that was my experience, but really just electronics, like off third party site electronics, not a good idea. It will be a waste of money, even if they're advertised as name brand. There's a good chance there's components and parts inside the electronics that are bad and it will in turn be a waste of money. So like I said, I ordered AirPods. I was like, I'm gonna save some money. It'll be fine. It lasted two days. Uh, Josh ordered, I think they were the, you know, like the, what are they? The Beats headphones, I don't know, but they were kind of through a third party, lasted one week. Then we realized they were totally fake. But anyways, just when it comes to electronics, just go big or go home. Number four, this is the one that I'm going to offend people. I need to tread lightly, but it doesn't even matter because I did this too, like who cares? Uh, but it has to do with home decor and how much money I have wasted in this department. So I have two different things I wanna say. The first being the fake faux plants, which I know I already touched upon that in a recent video. I bought so many. Some of them look realistic in those ones I have kept. I feel like they kind of breathe life into my home. I, I, I also got real plants and they're thriving, go me. Uh, but then there's the ones that were just freaking fake. Like, look at this thing. It's so fake looking. I wasted so much money, so that was bad. Um, also, let's talk about the, the farmhouse decor <sighs> that I just can't stand anymore. And I'm sorry, I know there's so many of you out there that probably love this style. Maybe you have a lot of this. I did too, but it was the signs. Like the signs that said, live, love, laugh, or farmhouse. I don't have a farmhouse. Why do I have a sign that says farmhouse? I just got really sick of it. I gathered up all of the signs, I donated them, and then I realized how much money I wasted. But that's okay, it's okay because when it comes to decorating your home, let's be real, our tastes and our styles change, which leads me to this bad boy. So this is the glorious Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch in white, yes, but it is the performance fabric. This thing was darn freaking expensive. I honestly don't even remember how expensive it was. I'm thinking like 6,000 something, seven. it was expensive. I never buy really expensive furniture. There's some people that they invest a lot of money into you know, decorating their home and, and I just don't because 
as I just pointed out, my style constantly changes. And so I want to be able to update my home as my style and taste change. So with this though, I splurged. Um, this is the most comfortable couch I have ever felt or sat on in my life. It also has like zero toxins in it. A lot of you don't realize how many toxins are in mattresses and in couches. And I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted this and I just, I, I splurged. It was like a Christmas present to us. I, I feel like I'm justifying it. Really, I'm just torn because there's so many dupes, as they say, that are coming out. And I still, to this day, have yet to sit on one that is as comfortable as this feather couch. It is filled with feathers. Um, and so on one hand, I'm like super happy with it. It's white. We have two children, it still looks great. We've washed like three of the cushions and that's it. Um, and it came out perfect. Like it, it's, it's held up great. But then the other part of me is like, oh my gosh, Shay, you spent that much money. And I, in 10 years, am I still going to like this couch? Probably not. So I'm just like, I don't know if it was the right decision. Uh, but for all of you wondering, you know, and wanting an update and my review on this couch, it's been great. Should I have bought it? I don't know. The next thing that I have totally wasted my money on, and I am still, still now, to this day, still wasting my money on it, is cable. I wanna cancel our cable so bad, but Josh won't do it. Uh, we never watch cable, okay? We watch Netflix, we have Amazon Prime, uh, we have Hulu we still have cable and it's connected to our phones, which is why we haven't canceled it yet. And we watch live sports occasionally, but we can still get that through other things like YouTube, like you can watch live sports now, you know? For all of you out there, if you have a husband that could be open to canceling your cable, maybe consider it because I just really think that there's some great, you know, subscription services out there that the the, the programming, the TVs, the, the shows, the movies, all of that are just top notch, no commercials, awesome. You don't need cable and, and I just wish I could get Josh on board. Again, like I said, it's connected to our phones and I feel like the plan, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm still wasting my money with it. Okay, I literally have recorded this next one so many times because I'm not getting my words out because if so many people do this and so I don't wanna make a lot of people mad, but it's just the truth. And it's online courses. Be very, very careful of buying an online course these days. Everybody seems to be making their own online course, like packaging, packaging it in a, up in a certain way to sell it to people so that they can make money. And like people are claiming they're experts in things and they're gurus and really it's just all like information that's already free out on the internet. Uh, I've purchased things and it's just like, oh my gosh, complete waste of money. I do wanna say, Shout out to my editor, Emily, hello. She made an, an editing course online, like it was, a, it's great. It like actually provided value. Each lesson like was, it would show, this is how you do this. This is how you do this. It was black and white, like clearly valuable, but there's so many out there. It's just wishy-washy information presented actually quite terribly. And it's, 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 you're just wasting your money. Now we're moving on to the lightning round of this episode or video. Uh, these are just quick purchases that I totally regret. First being the packing cubes. I hate them. I hate them. Total waste of money. Uh, also the spray sunblock, terrible. We burnt our kids in this past beach vacation. We reapplied that spray stuff multiple times, a lot, like a lot throughout the day. They were completely burnt. So bad parents on me. I, I think it's the spray stuff. Uh, also this, this stick on light. I bought this stick on light. I'm putting a photo of it right here. I loved it for like a week. I think I, I think I even recommended it in an Amazon live video. I am so incredibly sorry if you ended up buying it based on my recommendation, because the first week I thought it was awesome. And then all of a sudden the magnetic part of it completely, I don't even like desensitize. I don't even know. It will not stick. I threw it away complete waste of money. So the next suggestion is the annoying suggestion and it's just the one you don't really wanna hear, but I'm here to say it. Stop wasting your money by trying to save money and cut corners. You're wasting your money. I, I, I've done this so many times, our kitchen. I was like, I just really want a new kitchen, but I'm gonna save money and I'm just gonna repaint the cabinets. I hate my kitchen now and I want to redo my kitchen. Um, I've done those with handbags. I've really wanted a different handbag, but I'll like, oh, I'll just get the other brand and it kind of looks like that. And then I like try to save money and I never wear the bag. Same with makeup. I'll go the drugstore route. And I'm not saying all drugstore makeup is bad, 
But for the most part, I feel like when it comes to makeup, very often you get what you pay for. So in conclusion, that is everything that I wasted my money on. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, I don't know, save some money on my behalf. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.